In today's message, man, I want to give you three tips to stop gossip or gossipers dead in their tracks. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling kingdom business. Man, oftentimes we hear religious people, you know, recite things that are biblical, but the word says be a doer of the word. The word tells us not to bear false witness. And oftentimes, when this stuff doesn't get taught on a regular and consistent basis where you have new people coming into the fold, because it's not constantly reinforced, you know, people are getting sucked into unbiblical teachings about Trinity, the rapture, that have no biblical foundation, no biblical origin, and they're missing out on the vital things that will actually keep you from the kingdom if it goes unrepented for. Today, we're talking about bearing false witness. Man, I want you to understand, just like the adversary needs people to do evil in order to accomplish his mission, when you think about gossip, somebody bearing false witness, a story needs a carrier, a story needs a vessel. If you're not willing to carry or partake in the dissemination of the story, you can stop gossip dead in your tracks. Man, you have people out here that their whole conversation and friendships are built on gossip. You got to think about uh, TMZ. That is marketing gossip and people gravitate. Oh, TMZ got it first. It's like a juicy, tender piece of meat. Everybody wants to take a bite off of it, not realizing that that tender, juicy piece of meat or you get in the cup of tea, as a woman would say it, might be what's doggone ensnaring your soul. Oftentimes, you know, when this happens in the church and goes unrecognized, you know, this is where ministries can fall apart. Man, you heard what the pastor was doing, right? Hey, you know, brother such and such, I saw him go into the bathroom and it looked like he had the collection plate. This is all the kind of stuff. Or, you know, I saw such and such man over here. What's he doing over there? You know what he was doing. This is all the kind of stuff that people will say and pass on in order for you to be a vessel for gossip. Today, I'm going to tell you how to stop it dead in its tracks. Man, you can be a murderer 99 times and repent. And the Most High Yah will throw your stuff in the sea of forgiveness. But the world, check this out. This is how easy gossip is. Man, you can be having charges levied against you for murder for the 100th time. And people say, man, you know what? They start spreading gossip. Man, I know they're guilty. I know he did it. You start asking questions. How do you know he did it? Man, I just know he did it 99 times. He's guilty already. He right he or she touched those those little kids. Well, they did it this time. That's not the way the most high y'all judges. You gotta think about all the foolishness, all of the tea that's out there that make for juicy stories and people run with it instead of 
being wise and letting things take their course. This is how you stop gossip dead in its tracks. Somebody brings something to you and you discern that it is gossip or bearing false witness against somebody else. Number one, you ask them, hey, is there any truth in what you're about to tell me? Is there any truth in what you are about to tell me? Number one will generally let you know if somebody is about to gossip and then try to get you in on the gossip and passing it on. Well, I really don't know if there's some truth to it, but I thought you would want to know. Well, I don't. There ain't no truth to it. I don't. Number two, ask them if it has any value to you. Hey, is what you're about to tell me, how does it add value to my life? Because if it doesn't add value, it's just meaningless speech. It's like speaking death instead of life. Well, you know, I, I you know, based upon how I used to know you, man, I, I thought you would want to know. If it don't add no value to my life, and it has to do with somebody else, man, I could live my life without knowing. Number three, lastly. If those two don't work, ask them, since you don't have no truth, since it don't add value to my life or your life, is what you're about to tell me, does it discredit the person who you're talking about? And chances are, they're gonna change the conversation in that moment. But that's how you have to treat gossip because Man, oftentimes people get caught up on adultery. They get caught up on what is uh, commonly in religion called the big sin. But bearing false witness carries the same weight, the same penalty if it goes unrepented. Today, I just wanted to share with you how to stop gossip dead in its tracks. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.